Okay, hey, we're gonna we're gonna change the blade on a 10 box. And what I first like to do is I like to make sure I got it oiled up. The main thing about changing a blade on the 10 box, you do not want to damage this brass piece right here. It's very expensive. It comes off with all of these screws to replace it. And if I crack it or break it, I have a problem, okay? Whenever I change the 10 box too, I always like to change these shoes, these shoes right here. So whenever I change the blade, I change the shoes at the same time. So now what, I'm gonna, what I have to do is I have to pop off. It's, this blade hasn't been changed in quite a while, but I have to pop off all of these pieces. So, so bear with me while I take off these two shoes. Here. Oh, by the way, you have this piece here too. So that goes on there too. So, uh, and I'll pop off this one. And if you remember, I, I put the oil on the blade, and there's a reason for that. And I'm just letting that soak in a second. Uh, I haven't soaked this. I haven't soaked this in a while. I'm gonna put those off to the side, and put these off to this side. So. Now I'm going to take off this blade. So what I do is you have a little screw right here. And what I like to do is I like to turn that screw to get the blade to start popping out. So I put that screw in all the way, right? And I try to get my, my, my uh, thing under there. And then I just kind of work it out. I just kind of work that blade out. Okay, and it just popped right out. And this blade is ready to be changed too. Now, I'm going to show you something. If you can look at it really closely, you see how the end of this blade is just tapered down to nothing and how much thinner that blade is than that blade. And so, I'll show you the other side too. See how much thinner that is compared to that? Uh, they really are, uh, this was ready to be changed. This has all been worn down from running it on the walls. So now I'm going to put the new blade in. If you look at this closely, if you kind of look at this closely, you'll see this has got a curve to it. If you see this blade has got a curve, it's just got a little curve to it. So when you look at your box, your box has got a little bit of a curve to it like this too. So it's just got this curve. And so what you're trying to do is make sure that those two curves line up. Oh, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go backwards a little bit back that screw back out. Remember that screw that we set all the way in to take that blade out? Back it up. It needs to be backed up first. This this is this screwdriver is a little big. I wish I had a smaller one. And uh, but I don't have one, a smaller one on my on hand right away and I got tired of looking for one. So uh, don't take the screw all the way out. Just just back it up so it's it's not an issue. I also like to take a look at this too. And, and truthfully, I back both of these screws in a little bit while I have been boxing. So I'm going to back them both out. Now, this is curved like this. This blade is curved like this. So that's the way I'm going to stick this blade in. Just the way that, that that's curved. And that's all you do. You stick it in just like that. And it just goes right in place. This holds it together. Now, I've got to put these pieces back on, these side pieces. So again, I like to make sure that they're all nice and clean and they don't have a lot of mud and stuff on them. Make sure it's all clean underneath here. Sometimes there's some mud under here you might want to try to get off. But this goes on the back side, like that. This goes on the front side, like this. And this is what kind of holds everything in place. If, uh, if I, I'm going to show you on the other one real quick. But what I like to do is I like to try to hold this blade back, push this up tight, okay, before I tighten the screw up. Right now I'm just going to get the screws in. I'm just going to get them in to get them started. Come on, get started. Get started. Okay, they're not stripped, so I, I got them in straight. Okay, so I'm going to push this blade up this way and this way as hard as I can but at the same time I want to make sure that this piece here is tight to the back side so it's pushed up in tight 
everything's nice and tight. This whole corner is nice and tight now, and I'm going to tighten up. Tighten it, and I mean tighten it. Uh, unless you got my cameraman's arms, and then you're going to strip the screws out. So, okay, nice and tight. Now this 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 looks good. This feels really good. The blade looks good. Everything uh, everything is fitting in nicely, and uh, and we're ready. We're ready for the other side. So, and we'll put the other side together. Again, we got this piece. We backed it all out. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Before I do that, I want to show you something here too. Some, I don't know if you can see this on camera. I got to clean this off pretty good. But if you look at the very tip of this thing right here, it almost looks like a, a sharp knife. And it's not going to be. This has got, this is, this is thick. So you see how worn that is? That's why I like to change the two because the one is really worn out. I mean, you, you could almost cut yourself on this one. And this is just a dull point. Is that coming up? Okay. And uh, so I just wanted to show you the difference and why I always change the shoes out because they wear out too. They do. And I don't know if they're called shoes or not. I'm probably gonna get corrected online on what those are actually called. But honestly, I've been calling them shoes for 40 years. So even if they are named something else, I'm probably not gonna change, I'm probably not gonna change what I call them. And, and these shoes that I'm putting, they're opposite sides. I mean, they are completely opposite shoes. You can't have the same, I can't take this and fit it on this side, it won't work. So you have to have two separate shoes. There's a right side and a left side, a right shoe and a left shoe. And uh, so now I'm gonna put these screws back in. I'm gonna get these started. And then I will, I'll hold this whole corner together as I tighten it up. And we have just changed the blades, the blade on the 10 box. Now, because I've done this now and I've changed the blade on the 10 box, uh, the next time I go to run the 10 box, I have to be careful on, uh, I got to make sure I, I'm on the right numbers because my numbers not, might not be the same. What I used to run on two, I might have to run on one now or three or something like that because the, the, this is a brand new blade. And, and I am not a, um, a mechanical taper. I, when I see the seam, I know if the seam is right or not. So I constantly adjust my numbers so the seam looks right as I'm boxing it. Uh, so I'm not a mechanical taper at all. So now that I've changed the blades and everything else, I am probably also going to have to uh, uh, change my numbers and what numbers I'm on when I'm 10 boxing the, the seams and the butt joints. And there we have it. Brand new 10 box blade. Brand new 10 box blade on my 10 box. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.